Hey, what's good? It's Cadillac Tracks. This is Quick Tip 141. Today's Quick Tip is something I've been trying to do for a long time, but um, just figured it out today. And it's about how to sample, how to sample, you know, the music from your DAW or your workstation or whatever you're doing, right into machine, while machines a VST. And you know, like when you sample, when it's in standalone mode, it's, it's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. You know, you plug something up, it's gonna come right in machine. You're done. But when it's in this VST mode, it's a little different. So um, I thought that if I took the wires going out of my audio interface, the audio out, and I plugged it into the line in right here on the machine, it, I thought it would at least pick up the audio, but it doesn't. And I looked into it, and um, some other people have been having this problem where they can't figure out how to record the audio. So I'm going to show you real quick. And um, I just went on the internet and I found this out just a minute ago, and I'm glad I did. I've been wanting to sample my beat, so I'm making a beat on Fruity Loops. Sometimes I want to sample my beat that I'm making so that I can kind of tweak that audio, maybe even chop it up, throw some perform effects on it, just do something weird to it to get it to sound throw, you know, and then put it right back in the beat or make a breakdown or something. But what you have to do is you actually have to use this Machine 2 FX. Um, it comes with machine, you know, when you install machine, you install machine 2.dll and that's the one that you load up when you're loading up. If you went to add and you went to load up your little thing over here, but there's also a machine 2 FX and, um, I didn't know what it was at first or what it was used for. I'll say, cause you know, a lot of plugins have the FX. So what you need to do is you actually need to load the FX and I just went ahead and I loaded it on the master channel right here. So you can see that it's on the master channel right here. And um, I have these drums going, so this is my beat. Let's say I was a big beat, and it's coming all out the master. I can throw the Machine 2 effects on it, and what the Machine 2 effects is, it's basically a regular instance of Machine, and um, it's, it's the same as a regular version. People were even saying, why don't I just use the two F the FX version and make the whole beat? And some people were saying that you can, but you will run into a limitation when it comes to routing the audio in and out. You'll just have to experience that yourself. But what I want to show you is if you put the Machine 2 FX on this channel, I can, now it's on the master channel. When I push play right here, you can see my drums are playing, you know, through these different channels and they're going to the master. And now when I go to the sampling channel inside of Machine, you can see that it's coming inside of Machine now. And the source right here is external. I thought it would be internal since it's, but it's actually external still. So, now I'm able to record my DAW's output right into Machine Sampler. So this is just one way to do it. I wanted to share that with y'all. And um, also another thing, it's got the monitor on and off. You can't hear anything, I can't hear anything, but if I turn the monitor on, it'll allow me to hear what's coming. And then I can record it. So there you go. So now I'm actually able to record the sound from my doll, and this is going to open up a lot of possibilities for me. But it's something I've been wanting to do, and uh, it took me a while to get to it. But this is the best way to actually do it, I think. Um, actually, load up Machine 2 FX on your master channel, and it allows you to hear the audio right inside your doll and record it instead of another way or using a third party something or or whatever. So this Cadillac tracks right here. Uh, make sure you check out my other quick tips. Also, make sure you check out my custom MK3 template. It's a template I made for machine to control Fruity Loops. But this is a uh, real good, real big man. Like you're able to actually record your doll right into a machine. So while you're making a beat, you can sample the beat and then adjust those samples, and you can actually make new rhythms and melodies for your beat. That way, you can sample yourself. You don't have to sample other people. All right, next time one.